Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking all about Sharon Tate and her favorite beauty products. I already did a video on Sharon Tate if you haven't seen it already, um, where I talk about her estate that was for sale at Julian's auction and I found similar products from the estate on eBay. Some of them are the exact same ones that she owned. So if you haven't seen that, please don't forget to watch that first. And let's jump right in and talk about all her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. So I wanted to recreate Sharon Tate's makeup look. I know obviously I don't look like Sharon Tate. I'm a brunette, I have bangs. At first I was like, oh, maybe I'll do the whole cosplay and wear away. But then I thought, you know what? Let's make a Sharon Tate inspired makeup look. So I found a lot of products that she actually did use um, just at the drugstore. And I found some other items too to create the whole look. So let's get started and I'll share with you everything I used to create Sharon Tate's makeup look. To start off, Sharon Tate used a Maybelline brown eyeliner and eyebrow pencil and she started off by circling her lid of her eye and she kind of made a high arc in the crease of her eye and it kind of makes your eyes look deeper set. And I learned this from actually a YouTube video of her sister doing Sharon Tate's makeup on her daughter. So you can watch that too for more ideas. And this is the uh, eyebrow pencil that Sharon Tate used, so you can actually still buy this one online. I got mine on Amazon. And then after Sharon Tate did the arch of her eye, she would then use a white eyeliner, a red one one like this one, and do the waterline underneath on both eyes. And then after that, she would use a black eyeliner and almost paint on fake eyelashes underneath like I did on my eyes. Um, I've never tried this before and I'm, I'm by no means a makeup artist, but I thought it was really fun to actually try cre creating this look. And it was actually pretty easy and I'm actually surprised how it almost... Because I normally don't wear my makeup this way and it was interesting to see how it kind of changes my look and changes the shape of my eyes and makes them look deeper set and actually quite a lot bigger. So I thought that was really interesting to try. And I also noticed that Sharon Tate, she doesn't wear very heavy makeup, but she has that very like beachy California kind of laid back look. She was almost ahead of her time. When she was in the 60s, her look almost was like at least five years ahead way into the 70s. So she was quite the trendsetter and she had a very like soft makeup look. So I made sure that I put on like a light foundation and I really emphasized bronzer. So I put on like a lot of bronzer on my face and just kind of highlighted my cheekbones a little bit with bronzer and like subtle blush. And then on my lips. So I found um, the color that um, Sharon Tate used to wear. She used to wear Almoy all the time and this is a frosted peppermint pink lipstick that she wore. It's the same one, not the exact same one from her estate, but it's the same shade that was for sale in her estate at auction. And she also had the frosted um, lipstick. This one brand you can't buy anymore, but it was very popular in the 1960s. Um, this one, it doesn't say the shade, and obviously I think it may have turned a little over time, but this is kind of like a corally shade. And when you look at old photos of Sharon Tate, you notice that she has like a very nude, kind of a soft, nude, almost shimmery, pale pink lip. So I actually found two Almay shades that look very similar to something she would wear. The first one is number 120 Go Wild Matte and it's a very nice nude color. I think it looks really good and it looks really nice when you layer it over top with number 260 Skip the Gym and it definitely creates a look that looks very similar to Sharon Tate's nude soft pink lip. So even though I couldn't find the exact shade anymore of the Almway one that she wore because they don't make it anymore, I thought these were very comparable shades and I got these ones on Amazon. And when it comes to Sharon Tate's fashion, I noticed that she was also way ahead of her time compared to 1960s fashion. She almost looked like she belonged in the 1970s. She always wore like a darker color palette, a lot of like browns and nudes. And I noticed in a lot of her clothing that she always loved sheer sleeves. So I thought this dress that I'm wearing now, it's kind of like a 1960s inspired ship dress. It has like really nice sheer sleeves with pearl details. I can kind of picture her wearing something like this. Um, her style isn't necessarily something that I would gravitate towards normally, 
I'm quite like floral and very feminine, but I do appreciate her style. And I'm really curious to see the movie coming up soon, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, so I can kind of see how she dresses in that movie. And the thing is too, when you look up images of Sharon Tate, you're always seeing, a lot of them are in black and white, so it's hard to get a color palette in mind. And these are, a lot of them are like up close photos of her head. You can't really see her outfits. A lot of them, again, are outfits from a movie set. So it was really hard figuring out exactly what she liked to wear, but the Julian's auction estate was really helpful to find out the exact beauty products that she liked to wear, as well as kind of get a sense of her fashion. So I just really appreciate her style and I love the way she wears her makeup because it has a 1960s look to it, but it's very played down. It's very feminine and natural looking. Um, by no means, again, I'm no makeup artist, but I definitely enjoy creating this look. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, hello. My name is Laura, and this is where I talk about all things vintage. So if you love vintage, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit the red button below. All right, I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.